I picked up this uh, axe head for a dollar at a yard sale today. Uh, it was worth a buck when I picked it up. I figured, what the heck, you know, even if it's Chinese, it's worth a buck. But I turned it over and I hit it with my uh, wire brush here. Let me see if I can. Atco made in Germany. Good stuff. Uh, German steel is good stuff. So I'm going to clean this up, put an edge on it, and uh, put this brand new ash handle on it. This handle was uh, eight bucks at my local eight ninety nine nine dollars at my local hardware store here. Uh, it's not a brand name, it's just a mom and pop that has every little gadget and widget and whatchamacallit on the face of this earth. It's two story. it's an old barn. It's two stories and all kinds of rooms. And uh, man, they've got spark plugs for old Model A's. I love that. I could just spend hours wandering around there looking at stuff in that hardware store. I hope they never close. Anyway, I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to have to put this on the grinder because uh, this edge is so bad. It's got so many deep gouges and nicks in it that it's going to take some pretty drastic uh, cleaning up. If you do have to put an axe on a grinding wheel, you want to be very careful about uh, keeping this thing cool because it could lose its temper. And if it loses its, its temper, it won't hold an edge for very long. So I'm going to have a bucket of water right next to the grinder. And I'm going to grind a little bit and then dunk it in the water, cool it down, and grind a little bit and dunk it in the water. And when I get a workable edge, then I'm going to take my brand new mill file and uh, put a real nice uh, chopping edge on there. And I may even take one of my stones here. And, uh, you know, give it a good surgical edge. I've got uh, an older axe here that is Chinese, but uh, I keep all the edges on my stuff pretty sharp. Even my wedges. Well, I don't know if you can see that. I'll take this out. Even, even my wedges have an edge on them. I hate dull tools. So, uh, I'll get this cleaned up and show you what it looks like. Well, I rubbed on it a little bit with my Dremel and uh, a little sanding, a little drum sander. And boy, this thing sure has some pits in it. Just makes me mad as hell to see somebody have a, a good tool and to not take care of it. So, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to get a little bit more aggressive with uh, my angle grinder. And see if I can't knock some of the pits down just a little bit. And if I can bring this down to the bare metal, uh, I'll have to keep it covered in oil or spray paint it black again, but that's okay. Either way. But uh, I'm going to work on it a little bit more, try to clean it up some, knock some of them pits out of there. We're getting there. Now the stone. Back up a little bit. See that thumbnail? I got the tip of that thumb cut off in a hydraulic shear when I was a kid. And uh, I've had some people make comments about the one and only video I did that my thumbnail was in view and uh, I had like 7,000 views on that particular video when you would not believe the amount of people that commented on my screwed up fingernail well uh, on this hand 
You see that knot? That's surgical wire. I got the first three fingers of that hand mangled up pretty good. This finger here was cut completely off. That finger there was hanging by a thread and I had neuro surgery done. And uh, that finger is still together. I don't know if you can see the scar. Uh, using, uh, I mean, a piano wire. Occasionally a piece will come out and I take my Dremel tool and smooth it off a little bit so it won't hook on my pocket when I reach in for my keys or something. But uh, I've had people ask questions about my screwed up hands, my screwed up thumbnail, and I thought it was kind of odd. So my hands are in this video a lot. So if you see my screwed up thumbnail, that's why. Okay, I hit it with some uh, primer black. Uh, just to keep it from rusting. I'll let that dry and put my new handle on it and uh, I'll have a German steel axe for about 10 bucks and a little bit of labor. Okay, that's uh, got the handle in. I'm fixing to put this wedge in there and uh, when I get that wedge in there uh, the wooden wedge. Uh, I'm going to put a couple of these in crossways, that way. That way it sp spreads the handle this way, and the metal wedges spread it that way. I'll show you the finished product. There you go. $10 axe with an edge you could shave with. <laughs>